my right, right book right now. I'm doing some exercises from program four. Verbs, verb agreement, subject, number, all that stuff. Here's what I'm working on right now. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see all of that, but basically what, how I'm doing this is I have an, a separate notebook here and I'm writing my answers in the notebook instead of in the workbook itself because this is like gold. This is a treasure to me and I do not want to alter it in any way. It's in excellent condition and I don't want to uh, mess it up. And because I love the show Right Right so much, um, after I go through the whole workbook, I might want to watch the series again and redo all the exercises again. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to work here and uh, daydream about Sonia and Arthur and Freddie and Miss Johnson. And I'm gonna leave you with my impersonation. You know what? I'm gonna read some of these sentences in the book and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna impersonate. Um, actually, no, 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 not the sentence, but I'm gonna read like some directions here and I'm gonna pretend to be Sonia, okay? Let's see if I can pull this off. You know that nouns can be subjects, but some noun substitutes also can be subjects. For instance, you could say, Bill went to town. Bill is the subject and went is the verb. However, you might say instead, he went to town. In this sentence, he is the subject substituting for Bill. He is a pronoun. It is a special type of pronoun that can serve as the subject of a sentence. Not all pronouns can be subject. That's, but that's the topic for the next chapter. How did I do? Did I sound like Sonia?